Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your bonus read. Hello, everybody. I hope you guys have your favorite adult beverage. Um, get cozy. This is an extended read, and it's just for you, Sag. I have Tarot the Mystical Moments for the main deck, Wheel of Fortune Tarot for the clarifying deck, and the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. King of Wands, Leo energy, and always reminds me of the magician. I mean, look at this energy. It just feels like, you know what? Three of Cups reversed and the Ten of Pentacles. What's below that? Nine of Swords. Three of Cups reverse can be a bit of a backstabbing. People who you thought had your back really don't. But I feel like the more they're in this energy, the more you shine and rise. That's what I feel, Sag. People like this show you their worst, hoping that you're going to like recede, you know, like pull back. But all you do is get stronger. And it's like, yeah, come on, keep throwing it at me, keep throwing it at me. And look how strong you are. You're overcoming their negativity and whatever they're, they're you know, wh whatever, whoever this one person or multiple people are doing. It just makes you feel even more know like knowing that what you're doing, you're on the right track because you got the temperance here your card star reverse king of swords reverse so i almost feel like you're in this grand finale of fireworks where they, you might really start to feel the pressure but i do feel like you're at the, it's like the darkest before dawn here all right let's see Ooh, we got the wheel of fortune tarot card in here yep full reverse okay put this in here all right sagittarius sun moon rising venus sag if you are sag know a sag feel like being a sag Sagis, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Sagittarius and this resonates. You could be dealing with a Sag. It could resonate as the main story and Sagittarius can be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Sag or for Sag. Take it as it resonates. Collect the messages from my lovely Sagittarians, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What is the energy for Sag they need to be aware of? What is the energy for Sagittarians? What flipped? We do have a flipper. The full reverse again. Two of Cups and the Three of Wands reverse. It's like somebody's trying to get your attention by being such a shithead. That's what it feels like. What's influencing, sorry guys. What's influencing the full reverse? What's influencing the full reverse? Now yeah, Cherry reverse. I think you threw somebody out of that chariot. I think you got tired of their behavior. Probably not dealing with them. And they're trying to like make you think of them by you know, popping into your life in the worst kind of ways. What's the reason for the reading? Four swords. Yeah, I feel like this is you. You know, let me say, Sag, you're doing a great job because seemingly you look un unaffected. From their side, the reason why I feel like they're really, really stepping on the gas and their nastiness or trying to get your attention is because you don't look like their energy affects you anymore. Look at this, King of Swords and the Eight of Wands. They have no control over you anymore. What's in the past? What's in the past? Three of Pentacles. What's on your mind? And some of you already have a new beginning right there in that Three of Pentacles. What's on your mind? Two of Swords reverse. Some of you, okay, so the two of swords, when the two of swords is upright, maybe you're block somebody, not talking to somebody, staying silent, going within. When it's reverse, maybe you're thinking, should I say something? Should I, should I just say enough's enough? Or should I stay in this, you know, in this uh, quietness into the unknown here, as far as they're concerned? What's in the near future? What's in the near future for Sag? emperor reverse i'm not surprised i think you are dealing with a bit of a narcissist what how do you currently see yourself how do you currently see yourselves emperor or um, i said the emperor probably the emperor because that's aries so is the towers aries i feel like shit is ready to go down if you want to push a sag you can you can you're gonna get what you're gonna get but i feel like some of you are just barely holding on because you want this to be over but from um, again, from this person's perspective, they don't even think that's falling down. They don't even know you're holding on to it. They think you you're long gone. And it's actually very empowering how much you affect them by not doing anything. There was a time you probably could never get this person's attention. What's the energy coming in you don't see coming? 
What's the energy coming in you don't see coming? Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn. What are in your emotions? What are in Sagittarian's emotions? What are in Sagittarian's emotions? You want it to be over. Scorpio, Aries. Here's Scorpio, death card. You're holding on, holding on. It's a. This reminds me a lot like your nine of wands upright. Holding on. Don't know how much longer you can hold on, but damn, you're trying. You want to see this through. What is the outcome here? What is the outcome for Sagittarius? What is the outcome here? Thank you. It's that one. Six of Pentacles. Cap or uh, Taurus. Taurus. Give me one more card. What is the outcome here for Sag? What is the outcome here for Sagittarius? I some of you are thinking of paying maybe paying somebody off. I got that. I don't know. Given justice card. There that's a lot in the courts. I do feel like something's about to be over. You got a page of pentacles coming in. Actually, if this is about money, I do feel like you're you will have to pay, but a lot less than you think. You got the page of pentacles, not a ten of pentacles, but the page of pentacles. So I do kind of feel like you holding on has is paying off because I feel like this person's not going to win. I feel like they're out of tricks, to be honest. I feel like nobody even wants to deal with them. So whoever's around them is just saying, you know what, would you just stop? Would you just leave them alone? Would you just move on with your life? And this person cannot do it. It's just like they're mad that you're not talking to them or you're not giving them what they want. And it's like I said, there was a time where you wish you could get this person's attention as, as much as you are right now. You live rent free in their head if you know that or not. They want to know what you're doing. They want to know who you're doing. They want to know what you're eating. They want to know what you're doing at 3 45 p.m. It's just like you really have a lot of power over them. And I don't even think you care or know it. But what's coming in is Queen of Pentacles. Now, I do feel like you're finally going to get free from this energy. And if this is like a court thing, it's going to be a lot less than you thought you were going to have to pay. That's my feeling. So I feel, let, well, let's clarify and see what's going on. What is the full reverse center of the reading? What is the full reverse center of the reading for Sagittarius? Aquarius energy. What is this full reverse? And the eight of pentacles. Why the eight of pentacles? And the seven of pentacles. It's like if this person worked at this hard at life like they do to annoy you or to get something from you they'd be hugely successful seven of pentacles is somebody's holding out look at this three plus the seven is a ten they're keep applying this pressure keeping you from fully moving on from them with that full reverse but influencing this energy is a cherry reverse so i feel like their bullshit and bullshittery is going to be to an end here through with this justice card so seven of pentacles is they're waiting so it's interesting because the seven of pentacles is a reflective energy rather than a future energy. And we do have a three of pentacles. So how little this person put in, all of a sudden they want more than two times that amount, which is laughable. They're not going to get it. They're not even going to get 50-50. What is this chariot influencing? Reverse. And it's same freaking energy. Nine of pentacles, reverse Virgo energy. I feel like somebody's coming to a halt and their, their uh, antics. Somebody's just trying to get your attention or get something from you and it's not working and I feel like somebody's gonna slap them silly. What's this Four of Swords reason for the reading? Four of Swords reason for the reading? Eight of Wands reverse. Trying to block them out. I think you have blocked them out. Four of Swords is pulled back. Um, finding happiness wherever you can outside and, and in spite of this energy. Why the Eight of Wands reverse? King of Swords. You're in control. That's the only thing you can control, as you know, Sag, is how you react to the irrational. And this person's very irrational. I, like I said, I don't even think they, they did very much for you. 
and they're expecting a crap load. What is this three of pentacles in the past? Three of pentacles in the past, devil reverse. I'm not surprised, I'm getting, I got such devil energy. Devil reverse, you broke free. Some of you made a, a huge sin by falling in love again or wanting a life again away from this person. What is this two of swords reverse on your mind, Libra? And again, you have the Libra justice. So some of you are waiting on a decision there. Two of swords reverse and the five of cups, Scorpio. And see how he's looking at his two of cups, but there is this waiting. It's like, I want to get on with my life. When can I get on with my life? Five of cups and the two of swords reverse. Also in the sun. It's. I don't, gosh, I'm trying to find a, uh, the right way of saying this. Somebody I'm reading for, or there's a group of Sagittarians going through the shit. I'll tell you that. And you guys are being put through the ringer, undeservedly so. And some of you are waiting for an, a certain period of time so you can get on with your life. But I feel like I need to say, I feel like you're being tested because finding happiness in the worst of times is part of your nature and it's kind of what you guys do best and you guys are very <sighs> there's this <clears throat> curiousness that Sagittarian energies have and it's like you you for the most part I'm losing my voice because I don't feel like somebody wants this message out um probably the devil this devil here um I feel like some of you are tempted to give in to the devil. Some of you are tempted to give in to this energy because it's just easier. I think you're almost there. And so a lot of times, right when you're almost there, when you're tempted to give up, I feel like that is a huge test. So the tarot lady says, keep on fighting, keep on fighting for your happiness and what you want, because yes, that day will come where you can get on with it. But I kind of feel like you're being tested now that I feel like the day is already here. So appreciating who you have and try to um, have a life outside of this and not let this affect you as much as it may for some of you is probably, I, I just feel like, I just feel like I need to say that. I feel like it's the test. For some of you, it's like you're being tested of how bad, you know, how strong you are and persevering and standing to your own decisions. Because in the past, maybe you did succumb to this energy and go back or give them what they want. And I kind of feel like it's a test in lessons. I feel like it's a lesson for this person that they can't always have what they want, no matter how big of a tantrum they're going to throw. Two of Wands reverse, Aries and Aries going on there. Six of Wands, Nine of Pentacles reverse. I do feel like some type of decisions coming down the, the line here. And I just say, hold on as long as you can because you're almost there. The Tower, how you see yourself. And the, yeah, Strength reverse, both huge majors, right? Strength reverses. I'm tired, Tara Lady. I'm tired of this. I don't know how much longer I can hold on. What, when is it going to be easier? I just feel like you, your character in, is being tested. And when you come out of the other side of this, you know that you truly can handle anything. And I feel like there's going to be a, a big energy, like universe, like throwing you a big bow and a big gift at the other end of this. What is this Queen of Pentacles energy coming in? You don't see coming Capricorn and the Hermit Virgo. So maybe in Virgo season, there's a surprise. I feel like a surprise factor here. There's a surprise factor here. Whoever this queen of pentacles is, if this is something in the courts, cause you got Libra on the same line, if it's a, a, uh, related to this person, I feel like this, whoever this is reigns this person in, you know, it's like, I think everybody's getting tired of their behavior. So it's like, you're not the only one fighting, even though it feels like you are. What is the hermit and the queen of pentacles energy coming in? Temperance reverse, Sagittarius. There you are. And the Page of Swords reverse. And some of you, let me just say, whoever this is, I feel like I, either A, they might be in a romantic relationship with this person that's no longer physically in your life anymore. And when you find that out, it's like, are you serious? Let them pay your bills. Why do you keep coming to me? Um, but I do feel like this person's trying to get this person to wrap it up because they don't want to deal with this either. Kind of getting with that page of swords reverse and temperance reverse. It seems like you find something out that pisses you off. 
and it has something to do with this person. I don't think she's she or he's related to you. I feel like it's directly related to this this devil energy over here in, in the Emperor Reverse. But it does feel like somebody is going to gain that you've never met ever. You know, like, okay, you want this from me just to give to this person? Oh, I don't think so. And maybe that's a little bit of more of the fire you need to push you over the top to, to finally get done with this. Death card in your emotions. Dun, 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 dun. What's the death card? I feel like you have a, a little bit of fight left in you for in this case. What is the death card in your emotions? Ten of Pentacles. I think you will have to give a page of Pentacles, but you get to keep. I mean, honestly, this also feels like something you also don't see coming because as you're trying to just get through a difficult time, I remember, and I said, I feel like you're being tested. I feel like this, whatever this 10 of Pentacles is to you or could be for you, Sag, this is what is at stake. If you know it or not, it's a new job. It's a raise. It's uh, when energy, I, I don't know. I honestly can't even say for some of you, it directly feels like money. It, it's, it's your, it's the gift at the end of this road. And the death card is it's life changing, you know? I mean, literally life changing. It's a new cycle, a happier cycle, a more abundant and a more stable cycle and leaving this bullshittery behind. And I feel like you are almost there, almost there. Six of Pentacles and the Justice. Here it is in the outcome card. What's the Six of Pentacles, Taurus and the Justice? And you add these two together and you got the Empress. What is the Six of Pentacles and the Justice in the outcome card? Five of Swords reverse. A solution to your problems? Yes, yes, yes. Three of Pentacles reverse. Remember the Three of Pentacles back there? There's the Empress reverse. Somebody's not going to be happy. Two of Pentacles, you're on your merry way. Three of Wands reverse, done with this chapter. I feel like, and there's the Hierophant. I feel, honestly, if you think, if this, if this is directly related to money and somebody's trying to get it from you, they're really not going to get very much, if not anything other than what you uh, the original offer was. If this is about just trying to get your attention again, I don't think it's even going to work. I do feel like you're going to find something out that's going to piss you off enough to say, oh, no, 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 I'm not giving in. Because something's telling me do not give in because I feel like you are being tested to see how long can you hold for, for what you are truly, it's like, gosh, I can't even think of the word. I feel like somebody's literally trying to steal from you and it's easier, you know, just to kind of give in and let them have a couple peanuts and you get the rest of it. But this person doesn't even, I, I feel like they need the lesson that, you know, you can't get all your way. And if you want those two peanuts, go work for it, go and do it the right way, but don't go and shake a sag down because you don't want to do it that way. So I just, you know, hold on, hold on. You're almost there. It's a very nine of wands, but even bigger than that with the tower and the death card. And I do feel like you do have a huge prize at the end of this. I don't think you even see this one coming though. So I should not have probably ruined this surprise. Anyway, Saggies, I love you guys. Have a great start to your week. I'll see you tomorrow for your weekly read. Take care.